If you've been with us for any part of this off season, uh, which I appreciate, shout out the team, keep it clean. Uh, you know something that we have preached on here. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Um, and this should be Raven's motto this off season. This should be plastered on everybody's locker, on every coach's, in his office, everywhere. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And what that means is that be prepared. Be prepared and also have backup options in place just in case your regular option, your initial option, things fall through. And now, now this would be even better if Ronnie Stanley could be ready, if he could be ready for the start of the year next year. And according to this report from Ian Rappaport, let's just read it. He said, Ravens All-Pro Offensive Tackle Ronnie Stanley received a medical checkup recently, and he's on pace to be ready for 2022, sources say. Stanley played just one game last year, then had another ankle surgery. He'll be monitored throughout the summer, but there's optimistic uh, he'll be good to go. I think he meant there's optimism, but it's all good. Um, so with Ian Rappaport, he's letting it be known that Ronnie Stanley is expected to be ready for 2022. Now, I don't think this comes as a shock uh, to anybody. I don't think this comes as a surprise to anybody. But I warn you uh, to be cautiously optimistic. Hearing reports like these are great. Hearing from Eric DaCosta, like we heard a couple weeks ago when he spoke about Ronnie Stanley, he said he's on pace, but still we, we, we got to be careful with it. Great. But we can hear every single report in the world that we want to listen to, that we want to read, that we want to get updated on. And that's fine. It's nice to hear encouraging good news, which is great. But the ultimate, like, the ultimate proof, the ultimate deciding factor will be us seeing Ronnie Stanley on the field with our own eyes. Whether it's training camp, whether it's free, well, it ain't going to be preseason. I don't think Ravens playing any starters in preseason at all anymore. But we'll see. Uh, but week one, that's when all of this, these reports, that's when they'll mean the most. Because, it, again, like I said, it's nice. It's nice for our ears and nice for our eyes to say, oh, yeah, Ronnie Stanley's doing good. Oh, great. Great job. And we hope that he continues to do well. We, we hope that he does even better than expected. But we got to see him on the field. This is why it's very important for the Ravens to go at this thing like he's a bonus. So far, they've uh, they signed Morgan Moses. So, OK, cool, cool, cool. I like this signing. Uh, they kept Jawan James, which that one I was a little surprised on. But I'm like, all right, cool. No problem. And hopefully that'll be another bonus that you get. So, so you can have options. They, of course, re-signed Pat McCary during the season. So he'll be an option. Uh, they got Tyree Phillips. Uh, it was Davis Sharp. They, they got some options back there. But we want the Ravens to have the best options in the world. We want them to have the best options that they can possibly have. And some more of those options could happen starting this Thursday when it's draft time. And Ian Rappaport did a follow-up tweet. He said, the Ravens pick at number 14. He should have put in parentheses for now. But the Ravens pick at number 14. And while they could go in several directions, the health of Ronnie Stanley could allow them to simply take the best player. Mm. This is why this draft is so unpredictable. Because we don't know what way it's going to go. We don't know what direction this guy, that guy, that guy is going to go. It just so many different things could happen. So many guys could rise. They could fall and, and everything else in between. But the, 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 the fact of the matter is we just don't know. And Ravens could be put in some very tricky situations when it comes to the draft. Say, for instance, a tackle is there who's one of your highest rated tackles. And you feel like Ronnie Stanley is going to come back healthy. What do you do? I know 99% of y'all are probably going to say, take the tackle, take the tackle, take the tackle. And I wouldn't be mad at that. Taking the tackle, because stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Ronnie Stanley, I don't. he hasn't played a full season yet. And now with 18 games, ooh, that made it that much harder. That much harder. Um, so this is Thursday, just it can't come here fast enough. It can't get here fast enough because we are just ready to have so much of our questions answered, so much stuff cleared up, so much stuff like, all right, boom, it's done. Right, okay, I get why they did it. Okay, I understand. Oh, we're just ready. 
We ready. So hopefully Ronnie Stanley will be just as ready as we are too. Uh, so shout out to him though. We all remember the, the video of him walking backwards on the beach. I think he had like a coffee in his hand or something. I'm like, okay, hey, whatever it takes. If, if walking backwards on the beach, if that's going to get you to be healthy week one and that's going to get you to stay healthy too, hey, we all need to walk backwards on the beach. We all need to do it. Um, but it, it is encouraging to see him, how he was walking without the limp. It was encouraging to see Tyus Bowser in that look. It was a super short clip. Didn't, we didn't even see him running anything, but we saw him walking up to the facility. Uh, there was no limp unless he's just a great actor. But there was no limp, so that was encouraging to see. Uh, and I think with, with the Ravens this offseason, oh, my goodness. I know especially for fans, too, it's going to just be very encouraging uh, to see players be back because last year was just disgusting. It was disgusting how many guys went out uh, literally like every week. Every week. Some guys went out more than once, and it, it was just – y'all Y'all already know how it was. It was, it was a nasty season, a really nasty season. Um, and we can't expect it to be like that again, literally with everybody getting hurt. Um, but that's why you got to stay ready as much as you can. Stay ready as, as, as much as you possibly can so you ain't got to get ready. Now, last year, again, Ravens Day <laughs> – there was no staying ready for that. Oh, my goodness, because you, you lost everybody. Everybody. So, yeah, man, this year has got to be better uh, than that. But one way that they've been saying they're staying ready, they've been changing the, the, the practices. They've been changing the training and all that. And they, so, hey, that's, that's a start. That's a start. So they, they did say that they were going to look into every avenue and, and really see if there were some things that they could make some, some, some adjustments on and tweak here and there. And Patrick Ricard talked about how they were taking less reps. They were doing more work when it came to stretching and whatnot. So that's a good start. So Ravens off to a good start. Um, let's hope that they, they finish even better than they started. Uh, and this season ends up being a nice, healthy season. For everybody league-wide, not even just Ravens, but just a nice, healthy season. Because I just hate when roster decisions have to be made due to injury and not skill. It, it, it sucks. It sucks for the players. Uh, it sucks for the teams. It just, the just situation is just all kinds of bad, man. Because you, you want the best 53 to be out there. You don't want the 53 to be out there determined by injury. But unfortunately, across the league, it happens every year. And that is still my very worst part about football is injuries. Second worst of some of them rules, but first part is injuries. But anyway, I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, this is going to be a crazy week. Uh, you are going to see a lot of videos before the draft on Thursday. So just be prepared. Y'all are going to get tired of seeing I know a lot of y'all are already tired of seeing me, but you're going to get really tired of seeing me this week. I love y'all. We out.